my dear students in this video we are going to discuss about the tangent and inverse tangent functions here we are going to discuss the graph of tangent function and inverse tangent function for tan function we put it tan x this is a graph of uh, tan x function uh, in the function tan x it passes through the origin and the domain of tan function is minus 5 by 2 to 5 by 2 and the range of the function is or real line minus infinity to plus infinity in the y axis the range of the tan function is minus infinity to plus infinity and the domain is minus 5 by 2 to plus 5 by 2 and these two lines x equal to pi by 2 and x equal to minus pi by 2 are the two asymptotes of this curve what do you mean by asymptote? Asymptote means the tan curve is it, the underline at x equal to pi by 2 is a line of asymptote. That means the curve does not touch just the line x equal to pi by 2. It, it is the line, the, this x equal to pi by 2 is a tangent line at infinity. These two points meet at infinity. The curve touches the line x equal to pi by 2 at infinity. That means it, it doesn't touch. Asymptote means tangent at infinity. The curve goes on along the positive direction, upward and downward. In both the directions, x equal to minus pi by 2 and x equal to pi by 2 are the two asymptotes of this curve. At these two lines, x equal to minus pi by 2, the curve is touches the line x equal to minus pi by 2 at infinity. Minus infinity, I mean. This is a tangent at infinity. These two are called asymptotes. That, that, uh, that's why this tan function has no amplitude. Period only pi. That is the uh, tan x function. It, the domain is minus pi by 2 plus pi by 2 and range is the real line of. And inverse tan function. You will see this inverse tan function is this. These two lines x equal to y equal to minus pi by 2 y equal to pi by 2 are asymptotic lines. And the domain of this y equal to tan inverse x is real line r minus infinity to plus infinity along the x axis. The domain of the inverse tan is r and the range is minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2. These two lines are symptotic lines. Okay, and using these two graphs, uh, we are going to define the tan function and inverse tan functions and we are going to solve some problems in this chapter. Okay. Now, we are going to solve some problems in the exercise 4.3. The first problem is, find the domain of the function tan inverse of root of 9 minus x squared. We have to find out the domain of tan inverse of root of 9 minus x squared. We know that the domain of uh, inverse tan is the real line, you know. So, domain of tan inverse x is real line, that is minus infinity root plus infinity. Therefore, this root of 9 minus x square is real because domain is on real line. So, root of 9 minus x square is real, that means 9 minus x square is positive, greater than or equal to 0. This 9 is greater than or equal to x square. If you bring this x square to the right hand side, or otherwise, you can rewrite this equation is x square is less than or equal to 9. This means x square less than or equal to 9 means modulus of x is less than or equal to 3. Okay, that is x is less than equal to plus or minus 3, that means mod of x is less than equal to 3. It is it's otherwise called x is less than equal to plus or minus 3. That's why this is mod x is less than equal to 3. So the domain of this function is minus 3 to plus 3. So x lies between minus 3 to plus 3. This is the domain of this function. Okay, the next problem is. Find the value of, find the value of, second problem, find the value of tan inverse of tan pi 5 pi by 4. See, tan 5 pi by 4 you can rewrite it as tan inverse of tan of 5 pi by 4 can be expressed as 5 plus 5 by 4. 
5 plus 5 by 4 is 4 plus 1, 5 by 5 by 4. This is tan 180 plus theta. Tan 180 plus theta is that quadrant. That quadrant. Then the third quadrant tan positive. Therefore, this is tan inverse of tan pi by 4. So this is tan inverse of tan. It cancels you will get pi by 4, which is with belongs to the interval minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 in the domain. So minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. Therefore, the value of this function is pi by 4. That's all about the problem. One more problem, second one, the same problem, second subdivision. Find the value of tan inverse of, find the value of tan inverse of, tan of minus pi by 6. This is tan inverse tan of it cancel the reciprocal function, we get just minus pi by 6, which also belongs to the interval minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. Therefore, the value of the function is minus 5 by 6 only. For this problem, 5 by 4, for the second problem, the value of the function is minus 5 by 6. Because it's also lies in this domain. Let's solve about that problem. Okay? Next, you will see the problem. The problem, find the value of tan of tan inverse of 7 by 4. See the difference between these two problems. Find the value of tan inverse of tan of 5 by 4. So this problem is tan of tan inverse of 7 by 4. See here, tan inverse tan is reciprocal function, you will get pi by 4. That can be split into pi plus pi by 4. It is that quadrant. Therefore, tan 180 plus is tan theta, that is tan pi by 4. So pi by 4 belongs to this domain of tan is minus pi by 2 to pi by 3. Here, we are considering the tan function, domain of tan. In each year we are considering the for this problem we are considering the domain of tan minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. For that we have uh, we have checked that the function pi by 4 belongs to minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 and minus pi by 6 belongs to the domain minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. Whereas in this problem, tan of tan inverse of 7 by 4. Here domain of tan inverse. For this problem, domain of, here domain of tan we are considering here. For this problem, we have considered domain of tan. But for this problem, tan of tan inverse, this is tan inverse of tan, this uh, is the reverse of tan of tan inverse. For this, we have considered the domain of tan inverse is real like R. Okay, or minus infinity to plus infinity. This is the domain. Okay, so this tan of tan inverse is 7 pi by 4. It belongs to the real line R. The median value 7 pi by 4 is again the real line R. Therefore, this is the value of this problem. It is in the domain of R. Similarly, so second one, tan of tan inverse of tan of tan inverse of 1947. Here also tan inverse tan, reciprocal will get 1947. It is in the real domain R. Therefore, this is the value of this function. 1947 is in the real line R, in the domain of tan inverse. And also another problem, tan of tan inverse of minus 0.0247. Here also, this is tan of tan inverse of tan. Tan of tan inverse is minus 0 0.0247, which is also in the real line R. So it's also in the domain of tan inverse. So this is the value of the function. So like that, we have solved the problems tan of tan inverse and the tan inverse of tan. If you consider tan inverse of tan, the domain is minus pi by 2 plus pi by 2. For tan of tan inverse, you consider the domain of tan inverse, which is the real line R. That's all about the problem. Okay? Next, we will see this problem. Find the value of tan of cos inverse of 1 by 2 minus sin inverse of minus 1 by 2. This is tan of cos inverse of 1 by 2. You know, cos 60 is 1 by 2. So, cos inverse of 1 by 2 is 60, that is, 5 by 3. 
cos 60 is 1 by 2. Therefore, cos inverse of 1 by 2 is 60. Similarly, minus sin inverse of minus 1 by 2. Sin 30 is 1 by 2. You know. Sin inverse of minus 1 by 2 means minus 30. Sin inverse of minus 30 is minus 1 by 2. See, cos 5 by 3, that is cos 60 is 1 by 2. Therefore, 5 by 3 is cos inverse of 1 by 2. So, this cos inverse of 1 by 2 is 5 by 3. Similarly, sin of minus 5 by 6 is minus 1 by 2. Minus, sin of minus 30 is minus 1 by 2. Therefore, minus 5 by 6 is equal to sin inverse of minus 1 by 2. So, sin inverse of minus 1 by 2 is equal to minus 5 by 6. So, this is again equal to tan of 5 by 3 minus into minus plus 5 by 6. This is equal to tan of 3 by 2 pi plus 5. LCM 6, 2 pi plus 5, 3 pi by 6. 3 pi by 6 is 5 by 2. Tan 5 by 2. Tan 5 by 2 is infinity. Tan 8 is infinity. Therefore, the solution for this problem is infinity. Okay? See, now you see the problem. Find the value of sin of tan inverse of 1 by 2 minus cos inverse of 4 by 5. We have to solve this problem. We have to find out the value. Ta sin of tan inverse of 1 by 2 minus cos inverse of 4 by 5. Since these two are in tan and cos inverse, since the problem is in sin, we have to convert these two terms into tan sin functions. We have to change these two tan and cos by sin functions. For that, you consider tan inverse 1 by 2 is alpha. From that, tan inverse 1 by 2 is equal to alpha, then tan alpha is equal to 1 by 2. Since tan alpha is equal to 1 by 2, it means tan alpha opposite side by adjacent side is 1 by 2. Therefore, hypotenuse is root of adjacent squares, sum of the adjacent squares, that is root of 2 square plus 1 square is root 5, 4 plus 1, 5. From this, what is sin alpha? From this expression, we have to find out sin alpha, because we want, from this expression, we have to find out sin alpha. Sin alpha is opposite by hypotenuse, 1 by root 5. This is your sin alpha. Okay. So, this tan inverse 1 by 2 alpha is now expressed as sin inverse of 1 by root 5. So, this problem now sin of tan inverse of 1 by 2 is now replaced as sin inverse of 1 by root 5. Instead of this, I can replace in terms of sin inverse by using this with the Pythagoras idea. Triangle, right angle triangle idea. Next similarly, cos inverse is 4 by 5. You consider beta equal to cos inverse of 4 by 5. From this, cos beta equal to 4 by 5. Cos beta equal to 4 by 5. So, you consider the triangle. This is beta. This is 90 degree. Cos beta is 4 by 5. Cos beta adjacent by hypotenuse. Cos beta adjacent by hypotenuse is 4 by 5. Therefore, so opposite side is root of 5 square minus 4 square. By Pythagoras theorem, 25 minus 4, 16. Uh, so 25 minus 4 square. 25 minus 16, that is 3 square is 3, 9. So, opposite by, from this opposite by hypotenuse is 3 by 5. From this, you get sine beta equal to opposite by hypotenuse, that is 3 by 5. So from this expression you get beta equal to sin inverse of 3 by 5. So cos inverse of 4 by 5 is replaced by sin inverse of minus sin inverse of 3 by 5. So from these two idea, I am converting tan inverse into sin inverse of 1 by root 5 and cos inverse of 4 by 5 by sin inverse of 3 by 5 by using this idea. Triangle, right angle triangle ideas without scale. Now you know sin inverse 1 by root 5 is alpha, cos inverse uh, sin inverse 1 by 3 by, 3 by 5 is beta. So this is sin of sin inverse of 1 by root 5 is alpha minus sin inverse of 3 by 5 is beta. 
So this is the form sin alpha minus beta. So by trigonometry, sin alpha minus beta is sin a cos b, sin alpha cos beta minus cos alpha sin beta. Sin alpha minus beta is sin alpha cos beta minus cos alpha sin beta, you know. Okay. What is sin alpha? 1 by root 5. Into cos beta, 4 by 5. Minus cos alpha. Sin alpha is 1 by root 5. Cos alpha is 2 by adjacent by root 5. 2 by root 5. Cos alpha is from this diagram 2 by root 5. Into sin beta, 3 by 5. So this is 4 by 5 root 5. Minus 6 by 5 root 5. On simplification, this is becomes minus 6 plus 4 is minus 2 by 5 root 5. Or otherwise, we multiply both numerator and denominator by root 5. This is minus 2 by 5 root 5. Multiplying both sides by root 5, numerator and denominator by root 5. Both numerator and denominator by root 5. It becomes minus 2 root 5 into root 5 root 5, 5 into 5 is 25. So it's also the answer for this expression. This is minus 2 by 5 root 5 or minus 2 root, root 5 by 25. Both are correct. See, that's all about this problem. Okay, the given tan and cos to be converted into sine because the function is given in sine function. Therefore, you convert both into sine inverse. And then you will become a formula for sine alpha minus beta. From that you can derive the problem. Okay? So that way we conclude the problem. And also I complete my video now. And we will continue the remaining topic in the next video. Thank you.